Morning. This is a moose hunt. Tana and Adam rely on the meat from the animals they hunt to feed their family. Viewer discretion advised. Our sister Tana and brother-in-law Adam are residents of Alaska. Um, now having their own super cub and flying themselves around on these hunts, they are truly living the dream. Second year of being Alaska livers. This is our first year as Alaska residents. We're going to moose camp and going for big bull that I'm going to shoot or we want to shoot a little one right next to the airplane. It's not a pack very far. Good weather. It's supposed to be windy tomorrow. We're going for five days. Hope we can get it done. Very crash. Well, I'll slip the flops a little bit if it really starts to get bad. Did I get my 45 degree angle seat again? Hurry up, these bugs are ferocious. It's ferocious. Her ferocious. Either do horrendous or ferocious. It's both. Or ferocious. It's both. You can find us on Instagram to stay updated on our upcoming hunts and events. A couple really nice bulls on the way to camp. That's a good sign. Adam and Tana got their camp set up and all situated. Now they're ready for action the following morning. So here's about what we're about to do. Saw a big bull up high that we think is real big and maybe high 60s could be 70 and I've been trying to be a wuss to not go after him. Tana's getting ready to go and we're going to hike way up to the top of this ridge. We've seen bulls there in the past They kind of like to stay up high and then pull down to find cows but we're still pretty early. It's late August. Um, but I've kind of tried to wuss out because it's a long ways. There's a lot of alders, and if we shoot one up there, it's going to really suck. And Tana told me to quit being a wuss. She said, well, Travis packed one out three miles. And I said, yeah. Trav also told me that was, like, one of the dumbest things he's ever done. So we're going to go try and kill a big one up there, and it's going to suck. This is where I got my moose last year. Bear must have definitely covered it. Um, but uh, this year we're residents, so we have two bear tags each. So if we see any bears, I have my bow. Adam has the rifle. I'd really like to get with a bow, but we'll see what happens. Although this was a decent bowl, Adam decided to pass this bull up in hopes to find something just a little bit bigger.
break his horn so I can see him roll his horns around. Move a little bit. He may have a scoop on his left side. He didn't want a big one, have a scoop on his right. Go kill him? I don't know yet. <laughs> I do want to kill him. Not a horrible pack either. That's so far to go at this moment. I gotta get high. So I just want to say sorry. Sometimes I get in the heat of the moment. I might throw a few swear words in there when things don't go. I mean, I, in my mind, I feel like it should go like this perfectly. I shoot and they just die right there instantly. Sometimes it doesn't work like that. So apologies to everyone watching that sometimes there's a few swear words that come out. And sometimes I just can't keep it together. And that was definitely one of those times Tana had to help me meditate through the whole process of calm down. It's going to be okay. Don't worry, Adam. I edited the swear words out. Good things happen today. I was almost in tears laying on the ground thinking that this moose got away and just sick to my stomach. And that's why hunting is the coolest thing. It's just the highs and lows, you know, from absolute depression, wanting to cry or never hunt again. And then I walked down there, just Tana was looking for speck after speck. We're crawling on our hands and knees and he was really clotting up. Couldn't find much and Things go downhill when they're hit and I just started walking down and I was getting down to this meadow. I'm like, oh, maybe that would suck less to walk back to get in the airplane to fly around and look for this bull. And he's laying right out in that meadow and he's big, so we're gonna go get him. Go so happy. You found him. Yeah. <clears throat> Yay, so happy. To die for us, Moose. Wow, beautiful. This is a giant. What a beautiful moose. Look at that thing. Go stand behind Adam. 
you killed your Alaskan giant boy. First moose ever. Oh. He's so wide, he just lays out. He's got these waves in his horns. You can tell he's old. He's got yeah, four these. on this side. Please. Waves, big wide paddles, and then huge scoop. Oh, man. We got six on that. Six. Big moose, honey. Oh man, I'm so glad we found him. That is the big guy we were looking for. Adam's Alaska Giant. Yeehaw. To answer the most common question we get online, yes, we pack out all of the meat. This is a heavy pack. Oh, we gotta go all the way up through the alders uphill to the top of that ridge, and then like another mile uphill to camp. We are all loaded up. It's going to be one heavy pack. Made it to the meadow just as the sun's going down. Adam decided to hang the meat up here and I think we found a new landing strip to shuttle out that's closer than camp, which is at the base of that hill over there. So it'll be good for a pack out and hopefully an easy way to shuttle meat. I think here tonight, hope no bears get in it. And uh, we're one quarter of the way done with packing this moose out, but it's only day two, so we've still got two more days to pack out and get out of here. Morning number three. So beautiful. Looks like it's gonna be a nice day. It got chilly last night. September 1st, 34 degrees. Okay, roll me this way. Now push forward or lift. Okay, get out of the way. I will horn you. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. Woo. Yeah, you can go. Are you checking out my rack? You can go. Oh, that helps a lot. Don't worry, I'll just I'll just get my pack oh. on. Oh. Oh. Sound. Whoa. 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 Shoot him. Okay, I'll help you. That looks so big from that side. I'll help you. Okay. Almost done. Almost there. Okay, almost done with our third trip out. Tana with the front shoulder. Woke up this morning to fog. All ready to fly out, but we're fogged in. But I know the sun's up there, it'll burn it off soon.
all the moose hunts that we have done so far, Adam has the biggest bull in the stuck and rut family. This moose is 68 inches wide, an absolute giant. Make sure to subscribe for more stuck and rut videos. Thank you for watching. Let's go home. Next week we'll post Tana's mountain goat hunt, so stay tuned.